Hey guys, this is Pavna on The Smart Cookie. Today we're talking about something non-food related, surprising hotspots for bacteria around the house. Now let's start with the kitchen. Now one would think a scrubber that you use to clean your utensils with and a sponge cloth would be perfectly clean places to have in your kitchen, but surprisingly they do carry a lot of bacteria. Well, if you want to keep your sink germ-free, here are two things you want to do. One, you have a separate sponge cloth that you clean the counter with and have a separate uh, scrubber for your utensils. And once you're done with them, make sure you leave them in an area where they can dry and are not steeped in water because that will only give rise to more bacteria. Another spot for bacteria, and this one was a real shocker to me, is the door handle of your fridge. Why? Because you have a variety of hands touching this handle all day long and often those hands have food on them which creates a perfect breeding ground for bacteria. So every day along with cleaning the kitchen counter make sure you clean the handle off the fridge as well. Oops! Dropped my apple! Well while we're at it let's talk about the 5 second rule which says if you drop something and you pick it up within 5 seconds it's still good to use. Absolutely wrong. The kitchen floor is dirty, so if you do drop something, make sure you wash it before you use it. And now we've come to the bathroom. Now you would think the pot is actually the dirtiest spot in the bathroom for obvious reasons, but it's not. The pot actually gets cleaned every day, so it's pretty germ-free. The thing you want to look out for is the shower curtain. A combination of soap and moisture can actually make it the perfect breeding ground for bacteria. Oh, and while we're here, another tip for you. When you do flush, make sure you actually close the lid because you don't want the water from the pot splashing on other parts of your bathroom. So another spot for bacteria in your house, landlines and remotes. But remotes we all use and we tend to use them while eating. And we all know how much bacteria loves food. So just make sure you clean your remote from time to time and you'll be fine. And that's all we have for you on the Smart Cookie today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel as these are tips you definitely do not want to miss. Until next time, stay smart.